Hello YouTube, this is Sonic 2 okay, here, and welcome back to another uh, Love 2D tutorial, I was about to say Python tutorial, I recorded a Python tutorial literally just after, just before this, uh, two, three Python tutorials, yes three, three Python tutorials just before this, so that I can start doing daily uploads. So yeah, welcome back to another uh, Love 2D 0 0.10 tutorial, in this tutorial we're going to cover a little bit of the keyboard module so that we can do some basic player movement, or image movement, or uh, rectangle movement, which we will be talking about in this video. So, in a game, uh, it's pretty common, actually, it's almost 100% common, to have some, at least something moving on screen. I can't th think of any even remotely bad game, that yes, bad game, that doesn't have any sort of character movement. So, it's a pretty important feature of your game. So, uh, let's create a player here and then we will say player equals love dot graphics that new image uh what did i call it i actually don't have it up here i don't want to open the app store i want to open finder uh it brought me to here yeah these are all my python tutorials have fun looking at them so yeah let's go to programming Lure. Love, love zero point number zero tutorials zero point number zero and why are we not funding this at PNG? Is its name? This was the image I had from the last tutorial at PNG, and this is going to act as our player. So then here we can say um, love graphics draw player uh, local p x local p y. Now later on, when we actually get into making a proper player, these will be in a table. And we will say P, X, and P, Y. And they'll also be in separate files. Pi, P, Y. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, these will be initialized here. Uh, P, X equals 0. P, Y equals 0. Oh, I'm using Python build system rather than... I actually don't have the love to do build system. No, yeah. I thought it would be a well, good time to demonstrate how you can build Love 2D uh, from Sublime Text. I won't be covering how to do it with zero print IDE because that, that if I ever do that, that will be its own video. So uh, I'll have this link in the description. This is the build system for um, Mac and Windows. I'm not exactly sure how you would do it in Linux. I'm sure it would be pretty similar to this. Uh, Windows, you want to paste this in. Uh, you want to copy it and then build system, new build system, and then it will open a menu like this, except it will be blank. You want to just highlight everything and replace it with this. Or if you're on Windows, the Windows version. And then save it, and you can save it whatever you want, but I'm calling mine love 0.9.1.sublime build. This is a sublime text build system. Then you select it from here. I actually want to make this smaller. And then if we build it. And I expect it's simple near end. What did I add near end? Oh, this. I must have did some pretty funky stuff and here we go yet it's not finding the config I think I might have messed it up here uh, yeah new build system oh because it's loved it up love 0 0.9.1 this assumes that you just called it love uh, 0 0.9.1 I want to replace this yes and then I build it. There we go. I don't want this. There we go. Our app's working. You replace uh, love that app with whatever your name is. What is it here? Love that exe. You replace this with whatever your love exe is called. Because in my case, uh, love is uh, this love is love zero point eight point zero. This is zero point nine point zero, and this is zero point nine point one. Now, this series is titled 0.9.0, as you can see here, it says 0.9.0, and the series is titled 0.9.0. And somebody left a comment in the last video saying, why use 0.9.0 when 0.9.1 is it? And the simple answer is that I didn't think there was much use for it. Because really, there is no difference. Uh, except for bug fixes with... Uh, URL open, which is a, a method that I will cover way, 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 way later on in this series. This will that'll be whenever we get into multiplayer. 
which is not for a long time. I think that'll probably be like episode 2 billion. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I think maybe around episode 40 we'll talk about multiplayer. Uh, but yeah. Simple answer is it was bug fixes and retina display support, which is retina display on a Mac Pro retina display, which, by the way, I'm buying next year, around uh, October next year, December next year. Uh, whenever I'm in Florida, Disney World, hopefully, maybe Universal Studios, I'm not exactly sure yet, but yeah, long story short, it has support for 4K and retina display stuff uh, in the config files. Um, there isn't many big changes, but I would recommend using 0.9.1 just to be future proof. And yeah, here's our, why are we not funding this man, Peter Griffin? I mean, take me back here for some reason. So yeah. Now we want to actually be able to move the player because right now if I press any keys on my keyboard except for Command Q, nothing happens because because I press Command Q, it closes the window. Or Alt F4 on Windows slash Linux. I don't even know if it works on Linux. But yeah. Now we want to be able to move the player. So what we say is if love dot graphics or love dot keyboard that is down a oh no then and I forgot about the ugly syntax p we want to also define local p speed which is the speed the player should move at p speed equals 300 p x equals p x take away p speed times dt if I will explain this all in a second, love that keyboard that is down. If it just checks the keys down, and this will move the player to the right, left, this will move to the right. And then if we run it now, we can move left and right. So I will explain what this all does. Did I enable VSync? No, I didn't, but yeah. Anyway, that doesn't matter for this tutorial. Uh, what I set up here is P speed, and this is how many pixels per second the player should move. And uh, we're basically here saying P dot X equals P dot X take away P speed times DT. Now let's forget about the, the times DT part for a second. Let's just look at this. P X equals P X take away P speed. Well, this will basically just subtract from the player's X position and in, in game development, this moves it to the left. This moves it left as you might be able to hear left and whenever we are saying uh, here plus equals it moves it to the right right uh that's probably just really weird <laughs> i'm gonna stop doing that but yeah move it to the right move it to the left left right left right and times dt as i think i explained dt is the time uh how is how long it takes to switch frames and you multiply by dt uh, I'm not exactly sure why this works, but it basically does make sure it makes sure that the game runs at the same speed on all computers. So any kind of movement that you do or updating that you do, uh, usually unless uh, if you're watching this channel, unless I say otherwise, you want to multiply by DT. Any sort of uh, update method in uh, Love to D will take a DT parameter, and you want to multiply by DT. This will make sure that your game runs at the same speed on all computers. So if I press the A key. Uh, yeah, you'll notice this happens. But we want to be able to move them up and down. So then we'll make a comment here and say left, right. Make a comment here. Uh, up, down. If love, you know what? I'm going to copy this because I'm lazy. Uh, w. Then we want to subtract from his Y. Actually, I want to replace all of these with Y, and then S, and apparently that is checking key press with W and S. Oh, because that's a, a strange thing. I must have forgot to backspace. But yeah, up and down, left and right, up and down, left and right. But you can notice he moves off the screen. Well, we want to be able to fix this. Uh, so up here, we're going to say, uh, 
left, right, collision, if uh, Px is less than zero, um, with love to d, the anchor point of an image uh, is the top left hand corner, just like the anchor point zero zero is in the top left hand corner, p x equals zero, then as you can now see it won't move farther than the uh, left of the screen, but it can still move uh, towards the right. As you can see here it can't move farther than the left, but it can move up, and it can move down, and it can move over towards the right. So we want to be able to fix this so that it can't leave the bounds of the screen. If uh, p x is greater than love dark graphics dot get width take away player get width then p x equals love dot graphics dot get uh, width take away player get width and this so we can't move to the right, left and you can't be farther than the right. Now I'm going to explain this code. If This basically says if the player's x position is greater than the width of the screen, take away, because remember take away means you're moving to the left, take away the player's uh, image width, width. And then if it is then you just want to set it to that position here. We want to just set it to zero so it can't move farther than that. And the concepts are basically the same for up and down, up, down, if py is greater than is less than zero, then because if you go past zero, then uh, it go. If you go past, if you go less than zero, then it'll go into negative. So if you go more than left towards the screen, it'll go into negative coordinates. Same if you go too far up, then it will go into negative. Then py equals zero. If py is greater than love dot graphics that get height which gets the head of the window take away uh, player get height this gets the head of the player then actually I think we might need the add there but uh, we'll see p y was love that graphics that get height take away player get height I almost got that yeah so we go we can't move farther than the screen yeah that was pretty awesome that he, he can't move I said the screen even though I've done this a billion times before I think it's just kind of awesome so yeah that's it for this lovely tutorial hopefully you enjoyed if you did please leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials um, but until then my name is Sonic and I will see you in the next tutorial